The greatest fear I have is that Zelensky will be desperate to create a fake attack on his own people like everyone else has done to push their agenda. It would not be unexpected if the Ukrainians West stage a false flag and kill their own to get NATO and our real madman Biden to enter World War III. At Maiden, the snipers killing protesters were from the buildings occupied by the protesters. But Victoria Nuland told them unless the deaths reach 100, the US would not act. The snipers killed exactly 100 people and there is footage of Ukrainians leading the people to the very spot where they were targeted. We see this same tactic in many instances around the world including Project Northwoods which proposed to kill Americans and blame Cuba to justify an invasion. Hitler set the Reichstag fire to blame the communists to grab power. This is the oldest trick in the book and it coming next. Many consider even 911 a false fag to get into the war of terror that targeted Iraq which had nothing to do with 911. They also see the Patriot Act as a bonus for regulators. Now try wiring $3,000 outside the USA to an individual and it must be reported to the government, no longer $10,000. Following similar claims by his Secretary of State and Ambassador to the United Nations, US President Joseph Biden then declared that Russia will pay a severe price if it uses chemical weapons in Ukraine. They will always draw the line in the sand and then claim the other side crossed it. Perhaps you will recall President Barack Obama also drew a red line in Syria. Almost as soon as Obama implemented his red line policy vowing an American military response if the Syrian army attacked the Western-backed opposition with chemical weapons, that was followed by the accusations to get the US to invade. Al-Qaeda-aligned opposition factions immediately came forth with claims of mass casualty sarin and chlorine bombings of civilians. Obama then responded with a series of US-UK missile strikes on Damascus. Once again, they wanted to trigger a disastrous regime change that destabilized Iraq and Libya. However, every major chemical weapons event was followed by allegations that Syria violated that red line when in fact they were false flags staged by the opposition forces. As a former U.S. ambassador in the Middle East told journalist Charles Glass, the red line was an open invitation to a false flag operation, as reported by Harper's. The false flag became obvious during the April 7, 2018, incident in the city of Doma. That is when an anti-government militia on the brink of defeat claimed civilians had been massacred in a chlorine attack by the Syrian army. But independent inspectors from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, OPCW, found no evidence that the Syrian army had carried out any such attack. The event was staged hoping to drag the United States into the conflict they were losing but Americans were tired of endless wars that never implicated American national interests, just the rantings of neocons who hated everyone. Obama tried to see the invasion and the American public said no. Zelensky is putting out the same propaganda that Putin's inner circles is about to overthrow him when this has raised Putin's verified approval rating to twice that of even Biden inside Russia. The Russian people know that they are being targeted by Biden just as American believed that Russia interfered in the 2016 election. Zelensky had the audacity to put out a more bullshit speech to the Italian parliament claiming that Russians are capturing little children and torturing them. Zelensky has been appealing everywhere he can to beg for the West to enter to create World War III. He is screaming that World War III has already begun. The world will not be safe until Ukrainian remove Zelensky from destroying their own country and America seeks its own regime change and impeaches Biden. Zelensky will not admit that he has approved of the Ukrainian Nazis who hate Russians and his war heroes saw their counterparts in the Nuremberg trial executed. He is pleading for the destruction of his own country and we are fools if we ignore the history of Nazism in Ukraine. Bandera is hailed as a hero and the US never prosecuted the Ukrainian Nazis only because they were useful due to their hatred of Russians. I warned from the outset, having friends on both sides of Ukraine, that the only fair solution was to divide the country based upon language which I argued back in 2014. I warned that the computer had targeted Ukraine as where the conflict would begin back in 2013. Now we must be deeply concerned about a false flag. Based on reliable information and belief, the very same MI6 people who stages the chemical attack in Syria to justify an invasion by the West, are present now in Ukraine. Zelensky is not to be trusted. He will allow chemical weapons against his own people just as the killing in Maiden were used to bring in the West. Zelensky will remain desperate to justify NATO entering and Biden to send troops. This will be a false flag, for he will kill his own people and rationalize that they will become martyrs for his cause just as the CIA wanted to kill Americans to blame it on Cuba. 
Unfortunately, Americans are hostile after being abused by COVID restrictions. Violent crime has exploded, and this is a very bad backdrop for this coming false flag. Just look at Will Smith's slap at the Oscars. Violence is becoming the answer. If Chris Rock fought back, we would have witnessed the highlight of Hollywood's absurdity. Let us pray that Putin is not overthrown for the people behind him are far more aggressive and will see that as US interference in their country no different than the same strategy played out in the Middle East. Russia's neocons would have no problem nuking Kyiv and then ask the West, is this what you want? Both sides have their neocons. They took out Saddam and created ISIS. Thank <laughs> you.